Good morning, my little chicken nuggets. Hope everyone's having a great Wednesday morning. Wow, what a beautiful day today. Do y'all notice how great the weather is today? Anybody else think the weather is awesome today? Well, my little chicken nuggets, I got a confession to make. I was reading through the book of Philippians again, and I came across Philippians 2, verse 14, which says, Do everything without grumbling or disputing or arguing. Oh, that's tough for me. How many of y'all have ever argued about something? Well, I got a confession to make again, and I was reading that, I was thinking, uh, I have been guilty of disputing or arguing, right? So today is a beautiful day, it's great weather, but man, it's been hot, hasn't it? How many of y'all complained about it being hot in the last uh, three or four weeks? Uh, I have. How many of y'all complained about it being hot maybe 12 or 15 times in the last two or three weeks? I have. <laughs> So God says don't do, do everything without grumbling or disputing or complaining. And I think, oh my goodness, I complain too much. Any of y'all, any rest of y'all complain too much? So I'm out here on the playground, right? So right here, we got our beautiful playground equipment. We got uh, bridges and slides and tunnels and all kinds of stuff, right? Well, here's the thing about that. When I was your age, when I was little, we had a lot of my arguments or grumbling or complaining were on the playground because we were always arguing or fighting or whatever about who won the game or who could jump out of the swing. Uh, don't jump out of a swing. But back in the day, we'd argue about don't who could jump out of the swing the furthest or who could run the fastest across the bridge. Who could build the best sand cast? Because we didn't have cool mulch like y'all got. We just had sand. So who could build the best sand tunnel for their Hot Wheels cars? But grumbling or disputing is something that sometimes comes naturally to us because we just find the negative and want to complain about it, right? But God says do everything without grumbling, without complaining, without disputing, without arguing. Why? Why would God care if we did that? Anybody want to guess why God would care if we argued or complained or grumbled? Yes, that's right. Whoever answered that question, I know some of you were so smart that you did. So I see some of you out here at PE right now. And so I bet some of y'all answered it. Y'all are probably pretty smart kids. But because we're supposed to be an example to the world. And how can we, as Christians, as followers of Christ, be an example to the world if we're fighting and arguing and complaining like everybody else is? God said, be different so that you stand out, so that you're light, so that you become something that other people admire rather than something that everybody else is, right? So the playground is a great source of fun, but for me, it was also a great source of arguing and complaining when I was little. But even now, like with the weather, the sun's shining in my eyes right now. It's so nice though out here, the breeze and the low humidity. But man, that sun's bothering me. I'm gonna complain about the sun. Why is the sun always in my eyes? That's not what God wants. God wants to think about the blessing that we have and the fact that we have this great weather and the sun's shining down on us. We have this awesome playground to play on and we got teachers that love us and parents that love us and let's focus on those things so the playground for me was a great source of fun but also a source of arguing whenever we fought about who won the race or who was the fastest or who jumped out of the swing the furthest okay so let me encourage you today to be mindful of the blessings and not so focused on the things that are the negatives right because you got so many great blessings around us so look here, we got some races coming, right? I've been training hard. I'm walking across this bridge right now that almost collapsed on me as I walk across. But walk across this bridge right now as I'm training. Look at these, these monkey bars right here. How many of y'all think I could do these monkey bars? I'm pretty sure I could. I'm not gonna do them right now so I don't wanna embarrass y'all. But I will, let me get an action shot real quick. Oh yeah, I just jumped down off there, that was awesome. But look guys, I want you today to think about whenever you start uh, wanting to argue about something or today when you start wanting to complain about something and something happens and you just your first reaction is complain about it I want you to think about it Philippians 2 14 God says do everything without grumbling or disputing do everything without complaining or arguing because we're supposed to be a positive influence on the world around us all right my little jelly beans be a great influence today remember that uh, we are hugely blessed and we need to focus on those blessings and be a light to those around us. All right, let's pray. Father, we thank you so much for this day, Lord, and all the ways you bless us. Thank you for this beautiful weather that we have. Thank you for giving us the opportunity to come to this school, to play on this playground and to do things uh, and, the, and to be around things that you've blessed us with. 
And Father, I pray that we, more, that we will be more like your son, that we'll be a light, and that we'll truly look at the blessings and spend less time worried about things we don't have or the other complaints around us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, my little chicken nuggets. I'm going to stay out here, and I'm going to uh, train a little bit on these monkey bars right here. I'm going to do some one-arm pull-ups for you. Ugh. Ugh. All right, so that's my training for the day, one-arm pull-up. All right, guys, stay strong, stay faithful. Remember that God loves you. Remember that you have blessings all around you. Remember to focus on those blessings and do everything without grumbling or, or complaining. All right, my little jelly beans, make it a great day, Eagles.